the dynamic risk just kind of reflects how comfortable slash confident I am in the probability of the outcome actually occurring. So if I think it's a really high quality trade, I'll risk more. I'll risk 20, 30, 40, $50,000. If I don't think it's as high probability, but it's still a trade worth taking, then I'll take the trade, but I'll just risk lower. I'll risk what I'm comfortable with given that trading opportunity. You may notice that sometimes when you're trading, you have a trade that you really feel strongly is going to work out based on your experience. And whenever you have enough experience, you can use that discretion and that intuition to make decisions that allow you to make a lot more profit when you're right versus what you lose when you're wrong. Because the only way that you really make a lot of money trading is by making more on your winners on average then you lose on your losers. You know, if your average loss is $5,000 on a trade, but your average win is $10,000, that's great, right? And you don't have to stick to just fixed stop loss and targets. You can set your stops and targets as a way to kind of control the parameters of the trade, but then you can manage that trade dynamically based on the price action. Generally, trades that start going into profit immediately, those should be held. But trades that start kind of messing around and floating around at break even or small loss, small profit, or even going towards the stop loss, a lot of those you can actually get out early. And even if you don't get out early, if you're closing them at like a positive risk to reward ratio, like a one to two, say, for example, then that means you're still making more on your winners and you're losing on your losers.